Alright guys, what's going on? It's Lanes here. Welcome back to another video and today's video is something very very different Well, not technically different because I do this all the time and I talk a lot in my videos So you can probably see why my this episode of this series is called you talk too damn much type of video Yes, yeah, a series that I've been thinking about doing. It's not a podcast. It's basically me every couple of days I plan on making three two videos to three videos every week on this topic is basically me talking about certain games certain things just anything i really want to talk about into one video and um it's going to be kind of long like maybe i would say 15 maybe 20 minute videos but i'm trying to stick at the 15 minute mark so you guys will see that so i'm probably going to be doing something similar you talk too damn much i do have something that I talk about every single video and I look forward to actually starting this so for this video I'm just gonna be talking about black ops 4 basically because you know yeah a lot of things have been happening and a lot of things I want to talk about that I think they really need to be changed so yeah there's gonna be three things I want to talk about in this video so yeah let's get right in so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is kill streaks you guys know about this I'm gonna say three words well not three words I'm gonna say three things about the streaks off rip and we go from there all right they're very inconsistent they're very easy to take down and they're harder to get and that's just right there just kind of pisses me off like you let's say for any consistency attack chopper the drone squad you know like i think sometimes the strike team gets more kills than the drone squad and attack chopper sometimes combined some games that's in some games all right let, let's let's not get it twisted because sometimes the attack chopper will get you a lot of goddamn kills and so does the drone squad that's why i combine them both too because they work so well together at the same time because they get so many other kills sometimes the drone squad will be like just doesn't really get any kills sometimes the chat chopper won't get any kills before it gets taken down or whatever but it's just literally so easy to take down streaks this game like it's so easy like literally so easy i seen people with their secondaries just being grenade launchers or whatever just like the, the, the shits that just take down streaks you know that's like that the launchers you know it's so they have the secondaries are all launchers half the time because it's so easy to take down streaks you have that you get points and you can just sit there and get do that over and over and sometimes I've seen somebody literally I saw a video of somebody just going uh, taking down streaks the whole game and getting a hellstorm and a drone squad just sitting there just sitting there getting taken down streaks the whole, pretty much the whole time Sometimes when there's a UAV up, take it down, take it down, take it down. Because it's like the easiest streak to kind of get uh, inconsistent, like very consistently. Just get it easily, the UAV all the time. So people are going to sit there and wait for a UAV to go up. Just doom, 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 take it down. Like every single time. I don't even know how much points you get per kill, taking down kill streaks because i never done it. I have not done it once in this game because I don't care. Like if you get the streaks, hey, you did a good job. I'm not going to I'm not gonna be that type of person. Yo, I'm going to take down your damn streak. Because I'm just getting destroyed. I'm, I'm gonna take the defeat and let you get your damn. Well, I'm not gonna let you get your damn kills. Obviously, I'm gonna try my absolute all right, last off, or I'm gonna stay in an area where I don't get beamed down by a drone squad or attack chopper. I'm not gonna be that type of person that goes out there when I'm getting destroyed by just streaks. Cause like, there's some people that will camp in Nuketown in the window, window the whole damn time get streaks and just sit there and let the streaks do its work i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna sit there let the drone squad and the, the attack chopper just kill me non-stop while a person's not even sitting there moving in a different area moving around the damn map not sitting there camping like a damn bitch just saying but you guys know the kill streaks gotta be changed at least the, the kill streaks gotta be changed in my opinion they gotta be buffed they gotta be very more consistently with their kills and just make it a little bit easier to get do it either way just do it like maybe make it more consistent and make it a little bit easier to get because that's why a lot of people i see even me i use the cos the cosmic device i use that most of the time i don't use the sem shot a little bit more i use them too and that's the only things i use because i can get streaks a little bit easier doing that and i just leave it as that but if let's say they just nerfed it by like five well not five but 50 or 100 on each It'll be a little bit easier for everybody to get streaks but it seems right now everything's all cool with everybody with the streaks i heard a lot of people say that i don't mind being in hard to get streaks but at least make them more consistent and make it a little bit harder for people to take them down at least and i kind of say that that's better because like you like you know you're trying absolutely hard and you do very well in the match and you get those streaks you should be able to get a lot of kills after you get those like even if you have a gunship 
sometimes people will not get that many kills, even in Nuketown sometimes. And you're like gunship is guaranteed at least, at least minimum of 20 kills per game if you get a gunship, at least. But it's so some sometimes pe some people will take them down fast as fuck, and I've seen it happen, and I've had one, and some people have taken down in a matter of a minute or two taking those things down like it's it's kind of annoying but i told you guys i'm gonna be talking a whole lot in this video and you probably already can tell i just literally sat there talk for like literally five minutes just talking about that one goddamn topic but anyways we're gonna talk about the number two topic that i really want to talk about and i literally despise this certain category of guns in this game and you guys probably already know it's the goddamn LMGs. I have to sit there every single game. And it's like every single game you're on Nuketown is generally just goddamn LMGs. I remember playing one match. Uh, like one match, it was full lobby of LMGs. Some people sitting in the window on the corner. Some posting up uh, over by the fucking cars the whole damn time. It was just absolutely horrendous at this point when I seen LMGs. And, like, I'm glad they kind of nerfed it at the point where it was less, like, not that mobile. You guys know what I mean? I think they nerfed to where, like, the mobility where you can kind of really not run as fast. Because you could literally run as fast as an AR a lot of times, which is literally insane. And that's just, like, overpowered. Like, why are you going to have an LMG that weighs two, four, five hundred pounds? Like, I'm just giving an estimate. I don't know how much an LMG actually weighs. But just that much and you're running around that fast. And doing that much damage is really insane and it's like it's not fast but it does damage like the titan does like two like two bullets and you're done the vkm you're two bullets you're done the hdm i believe that, that the hate sorry the hate is like you have the operation mod with the, the whatever that thing is where you're just holding like that is literally overpowered as well too it's just like the whole category of lmgs is literally overpowered and like that's the only thing I really have to say about the LMGs is it's literally overpowered and it's something I just wanted to put out there I'm pretty sure everybody already knew that but I would like to talk about it anyways because I know a lot of people are gonna say well the AR is overpowered the snipers not so much I still don't think the snipers are as overpowered in this game as of now but I have there's other people that literally despise snipers and despise shotguns there's different categories of guns in this game that people hate and they think a lot, I think there's a couple people in this community that will like despise snipers because it's some people say it's way too easy but I'm a sniper so I'm very biased on snipers I absolutely love snipers so you know snipers are really fun you know I really like you but the third thing we're gonna be talking about and this is the last thing in this video but I'm pretty sure there's more to talk about in this game that should be changed but we're gonna talk about this right now and it's spawns Lily spawns in my opinion are literally kind of need to get worked on a lot of let, let's say you have sheriff and she has her um i believe her thing where she could spawn anywhere i remember there was a couple games i was on uh i think i was on i forgot what map it was it was on one of the maps and literally as i spawned someone was like right here in front of me and i'm like how the hell did i spawn right there and a lot of times i don't think you have a choice when there's a sheriff thing spawning that you can't really change i'm not sure but i think you can't change your spawn position i'm not exactly sure don't quote me on that because i've never actually tried but if that's the if that's the issue it's just like you know you're spawning into absolutely death traps which is kind of annoying at that point but i think you can change i have not tried to do that but literally sometimes even without spawns i've spawned right into sprayed on bullets i someone was spraying me down as I spawned in uh, on some a couple of these maps, especially sometimes on jungle. On jungle, I remember you can like I remember spawning in right then and there on a hard point, and it just I just got melted without even spawning in for less than like a half a second. It was really insane and it was kind of annoying. Like I I believe spawns in this game need to be worked out a little bit, and definitely sheriff's kind of like spawn thing kind of needs to be worked a little bit more on because. People will put spawn things there anywhere, and a lot of times I think you can't change. I'm not exactly sure. I've never actually figured that out ever because I never really cared that much. But as I keep on looking into it, I feel like the sheriff is, uh, I think, her ability to where you can put any spawn point and people just don't really check to change anything or if you can't or not to go and spawn into that one position of the map and you just get spawn trapped when you have sheriff's ability sometimes. It's, it's really annoying. 
but at the same time, it's like the tactical, like some tactical insertion, but the less effective one, you don't spawn in that certain spot, you spawn in a different area around that thing. So, you know, I, I don't know how spawns are gonna work with that. I don't exactly know, but I just know spawns in general, like even without her specialist abilities, it still got damn need to be worked on. Cause even Nuketown, I, Nuketown spawns, like you can sit in that building for how long it's been like that forever always it's just like the spawns like always been the same in nuketown since black ops 2 like you can just sit behind the couch like a fat ass and just doom doom you know just get kills you can just rack up kills because people just spawn there but i feel like hardpoint they have kind of changed that and rapidly changed the hard uh, the spawns on that and that's one thing i, can, I think they really change on is just hardpoint i have not checked that much about domination though but we'll see but you know guys that's pretty much the end of the video this is the only things i'm gonna be talking about in this video this is the first time i'm doing this series because i i'm probably gonna do something more on sports as well maybe next episode is gonna be sports i don't know it's gonna be different to topics but i decided to do call of duty because that was kind of on my mind i've been playing this all day so why just not talk about it but let you guys know this is the first day of the red rc well, not the first day. Well, this is the first time of me recording this video. You guys are going to see it the next day because I have another uploaded for you guys. But I just decided to start this series because I was thinking about this for the past couple weeks. I was going to start this, but I never actually pursued to do it because I didn't feel like it would be good for me. But I actually really enjoy doing this and just talking about stuff. So if you guys want to see more of these videos, comment down below and just like this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. This has been Lance. I'll see you guys.